What's up guys, welcome to Ask Zyback number 4. Before I get into the questions, you gotta see this gameplay clip, I was super proud of this. Blind fire that guy down, this guy coming up knows I'm behind this corner, chucks a grenade, he's gonna try to peek around the corner, I roll out behind the other pillar, and just blow him up. That was sweet. Gears of War is super fun when you get clever kills like that where you just totally outplay the other person. I just thought that was neat. Now to get into the questions. So normally I don't answer questions like this, I refer to these as loaded questions, questions that could get me in trouble or someone might have asked to strictly get me in trouble. I don't think this guy had the intentions of, of getting me in trouble, but I try not to stray away from any questions, especially ones that people really want my answer to. So against all logic and reason, and I, I shouldn't answer this question, so I'm trying to say, but we're going to answer anyway because I don't give a fuck and whatever. Uh, first question comes in from Facebook from Chad Stage. What are your thoughts on other gamers like Athene and his constant begging for money to save African kids and Swifty's gaming house and this Az Az ruined him and how this Az ruined him? I don't know what that is. So to answer this question, I'm going to first start off in a, in a broad sense and talk about charity. I'm not a big fan of charities. Especially not big charities. I think that your dollar and your efforts will go much further if you personally go out and do what you want to do. Big charity, there's there there is no such thing as nonprofit. Nonprofit is the biggest bullshit ever. Someone somewhere is making a profit. Their intentions might be pure, but money is what makes the world go round. And the bigger your organization is, the more overhead you're going to have, and the more potential waste and bullshit that is likely to occur that's just the nature of the beast that that's how it is if you want your dollar and your efforts to go the furthest there are plenty of people outside your doorstep that need help that you could help and and get that warm fuzzy feeling inside that everybody wants to have so what we do what harvey chevrolet my family what we do is every single thanksgiving we go out and buy thousands of dollars in food from the grocery store and we take it to families that need it. We don't we don't get any government lists. We go directly to the public school teachers that uh, because the, the teachers know the teachers know which kids are uh, are poor and you know they know. So we go to the teachers. We get a list and we deliver Thanksgiving food to these people. Some of these people we drive up. We see they have two brand new cars. We drive right away. Other places. And I am. This is everybody in my family does this. We I drove. I drove a. Um, or I didn't drive. I rode with a, a dude, and, and we did this. In other places, uh, I, I rode up to this one house, knocked on the door. It was a trailer. Knocked on it, opened the door, and I shit you not, there was like five people just sitting on the floor, no furniture, just in an empty trailer, sitting on the floor, and I was just like, whoa, what the fuck? Not e no furniture, and it was really really awkward. I just walked in with, with the grocery bags, just dropped it on the, the, the floor, said, Happy Thanksgiving, in a really awkward way, and just walked out. That's that's what we do. You know, it's it's nothing it's nothing big. We're not helping Africans. I know everybody wants to help Africans, but I don't know, man. There's tons of people that need help that are right outside your door. I, you don't need to... Whatever, man. I... I let me put it to you like this, and some of you guys might take offense to this, so whatever. How long have we been at this Africa thing? As long as I can remember. 40 years? 50 years? Fuck, I don't know. Every place in Africa that we try to help, no lasting progress ever happens. It's, it's, it's the same shit every fucking time. And I want to help people that I know can be helped. That will have some sort of lasting effect. From what I've seen... Has there been any lasting progress in these African countries? No. It's the same shit. Every fucking time. So, as, as fucked up as that might be to say, I don't think there's anything that we can do. I think we just might have to wait it out. It's sad. It sucks. But, fuck. What What? What can we do? It's, it seems like we've done everything to try to help some of these people, and it just turns into the same old shitstorm every time. It's, it's like the Middle East. No matter what we do, those fucking people are going to fight each other. That's what they do. They like doing that. They think that's what they should do. We're not going to change that. We can try to change that. We can try to take two fighting fish and make them not try to fight. But they're, they're going to fight. They fucking want to fight. 
that's just how it is, man. It, it sucks, but that's just how it is. So, um, now that we got one-third of the question out of the way, let's get into the other part of the question. Ooh, Athene, constant begging for money. So what I understand with Athene, he's doing the charity thing still, that's cool, great, whatever. Um, fine. The only, the only weird thing about his charity thing that I've seen is he's doing it through Twitch subscriptions. This is interesting to me. Now, maybe maybe this is maybe there's some reason to this that I don't know. That's probably pretty likely. But why is he raising money through Twitch subscriptions? Wouldn't you want to donate directly to the charity? So, I don't know. There might be some reason for that. I don't know the reason for it. That's the only thing that's sort of weird about that. If he wants to raise money for Africa, whatever, um, more power to him. Now onto the gaming house, the Swifty gaming house. If you guys don't know, Swifty's got this crazy Twitch live stream where his entire house is a live stream. He's got like cameras in the kitchen, cameras in the garage, cameras in his bedroom, and everything he does is on a live stream, which is a, it's a pretty daring setup, but it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool idea. And he's got um, he's bringing people over to his house, and they're playing video games, and it's 24/7. Pretty cool setup. Um, what's my opinion on that? I don't know, it's pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't do it if it was my house, just because... If I did a 24-hour Zybat gaming house, it would just be me scratching my, my nuts in, like, 30 different angles. That's all you'd see. Uh, <laughs> so I wouldn't do it, but it's a pretty sweet setup. I like the idea, I think that's, that's pretty badass. And a Z, I don't know what that is, or who that is, so I can't answer that. Um... But yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. I think it's I think it's a pretty cool idea. So more power to him. I wonder how much that shit costs. The uh, that that was I don't know. It's pretty it's pretty cool. I, I'm pretty jealous. That's a pretty sweet live live stream setup. So um, next question comes in from oh shit, Doigo. <laughs> I know it's not Doigo. Diago. Oh Diago. Am I a retard? It's got to be Diago. Diago Silva. Quitting YouTube, I, I can't even read my own handwriting. Something about quitting YouTube and settling down with a job and kids. Um, I don't think I'll ever quit YouTube. I can't, sorry, I can't read my own handwriting. I don't even know what I wrote down. Uh, I don't think I'll ever quit YouTube, like, fully. Or, I might quit YouTube. If YouTube is not the, the best video sharing platform in the future, then I might not make YouTube videos anymore. I might, might make them somewhere else. But I don't think I'll ever quit the online video thing. I might eventually slow down if I get like another job doing something that you know is equally awesome then I might not make videos as often but I don't think I'll ever stop this is way too much fun the interaction that I get with you guys like I'm doing right now the the like Zyback what do you think about this and then I go oh this is what I think about this this that I really enjoy I really really enjoy that part of YouTube so I don't think I'll ever quit I might not make a video every day I might make a video once a week whatever but I don't think I'll ever quit as for settling down with kids and a family, I don't think so, man. I know, I know, I hate answering this. I think I've answered this before, but I hate saying like, "Oh, I don't want to have kids," because every single twenty-year-old says that. They, no, but no, no twenty-year-old guys like, "Yeah, man, I can't wait to get a family." Like, no, nobody does. But I've really, I like the things I really enjoy in life. I enjoy sleeping and I enjoy free time and having kids negates both of those and those are like two of my like most favorite things ever i love those i don't i don't take those for granted a lot of people that get as much sleep as they want they probably go they probably don't even think about it they just take it for granted i enjoy it i like waking up and just being able to look at the wall for an hour and maybe just falling back asleep love that it's one of my favorite things ever so i don't think so man i i really like see the thing is is everybody in my family has kids there is no shortage of kids so if I want to go throw football with a seven-year-old, I can do that without actually having a seven-year-old. If I feel like, you know, helping raise a child, then I can go do that. And then when I don't feel like doing that, I can go the fuck home and go to sleep. I have four brothers, four older brothers. I can guarantee they're actually one of them already has kids. One of them already has three kids. The other brothers are probably, you know, one of them might have kids. Everybody in my family has kids. I don't need to have kids. If I want to go see kids, I can go do it. And then I can leave. That's the thing about not having kids is that they're not mine. I can leave and go and 
I can go play video games for 18 hours and not have to worry about them, but when I want to go see them, I can go see them, and it's perfect. Why mess up something that's so great? Uh, so that's my, uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna have, I don't know, I don't see myself as a family man, but maybe that'll change. It changes for everyone, but I really don't see it changing for me. But that's just it. So, uh, next question comes in from Nick Moore. Why do the girls of our generation dress like sluts? I don't think this is really, I, I think this has always happened, sort of. It's just the definition of dressing like sluts has changed. I think there's always been some, uh, what's the word? Um, harlots. Harlots? Is that? I like it. That word makes me sound fancy. I don't even know what it means. I know it sort of means a slut, but I don't know. I'm just going to say harlots because it makes me sound smart. Um, I don't know, man. My belief on that is if you have if you if you have these big bulging biceps, knock yourself out. Wear sleeveless shirts. More power to you. If you can sing, if you have a great singing voice, then sing. If you have a nice ass, then show it off. I'm all for it, baby. Go for it. So, people can do whatever the fuck they want to. I'm all for it. You know, if you're this, you know, if you're this, you know, 6 foot 4 man with just incredible hair and a good speaking voice, then make a YouTube channel. If you're tall, pale, and handsome, then make a YouTube channel. More power to you. Uh, so, yeah. Got a nice ass? Show it off. If you want to show off your tits? Great. More power to you. If you can sing, sing. If you got big arms, show them off. Great. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. There you go, Nick Moore from Twitter. There's your question. I wanted to answer one fun question before... I ended this thing. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Ask Zyback number four. If you have a question, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, when I'm asking for questions, I always go, I'm doing an Ask Zyback tomorrow and ask your questions. So follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. If you have a question, ask them there. And I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, like and favorite it. Helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. I finally got to open my new tube of toothpaste. This is something... This is a milestone for me because everybody knows that that last little bit of toothpaste